Welcome to this week's Tech Talk. Today marks the end of Microsoft's support for Windows XP with the final security patch released for the 12-year-old operating system. With some figures estimating that over a quarter of computers worldwide still use the system, this could have profound implications for people and businesses all over the world. Today, I spoke to security experts to find out more. This is a 12-year-old operating system. And to be honest about it, I mean, I think you can only patch a pair of trousers so far before you realize you need to trade them in and buy a new pair, I think. So the fact of the matter is that in subsequent versions of Windows, Microsoft has actually added features, really, which are designed to make it more robust against attack. First launched in October 2001, within five years, over 400 million versions have been installed worldwide. Its enormous popularity eventually became a burden for Microsoft, who were forced to continue support for two years after the normal lifespan of an operating system. It, so many people are using it. It's an open target for cyber criminals, um, and it's never going to be patched again. Um, virus vendors like ourselves will continue to write our products to um, fight malware on Windows XP. However, with the fundamentally flawed operating system underneath, it's going to get harder and harder. We do want to make sure that we're providing support for the, the, the operating system because if people are insisting on staying on it, at least having protection is going to make them more secure. So relatively speaking, they'll be more secure. While some, like the UK government, have paid millions for a support extension from Microsoft, most will only have the limited protection that can be offered by antivirus companies. However, even this won't last much longer. If anybody finds a vulnerability, it's a zero-day vulnerability. It's one that isn't going to have a patch, and therefore somebody is wide open to attack. Um, I think the second thing following on from that will be people that develop applications for Windows will stop developing updates themselves for Windows XP applications. So that adds another level of attack. We may you. see a short-term spike shortly after um, the end of support date. Um, and that might just be, uh, it's, it's something we're just anticipating in case people have held back malware they've written waiting for the support to end. But going long term, we will definitely see a steady rise in malware written to, until people stop using it written to exploit XP. It is predicted opportunistic hackers and malware coders will target systems still running the operating system, putting not only XP users at risk, but all who use the internet. ATMs are a particular concern, probably not in the UK, but especially uh, abroad, simply because a lot of them are running not just XP, but embedded versions of XP, which are difficult to upgrade. Uh, a lot of um, point of sale systems use XP as well. Hospitals, for example, medical equipment, some of them use XP as well. So there's quite a lot of XP out there um, waiting to be exploited. And in very vulnerable positions, as well. I mean, we're talking banks, hospitals. Uh, so it's, we're talking about critical infrastructure that if it goes down, we will all know. What exactly cyber criminals have planned for systems still using XP remains unclear. Whether it's an initial deluge of attacks or a steady stream, what is sure is that anybody still using the old system is leaving themselves wide open for attacks. Thank you for watching this week's Tech Talk. For more technology news, go to ibtimes.co.uk forward slash technology.